In this video, I will show you that the result of your LiDAR scan depends more on your scanning technique than it does on the app or which LiDAR enabled Apple product you're using. For this garage turned into a gym, we did some testing of the Metascan app during the construction phase. The measurement accuracy was checked with a laser measurer. When construction was completed, I went back to test an additional three scanning apps in the same space. The apps I'm testing here are Polycam, Scaniverse and the 3D Scanner app. Each capture was completed in less than one minute and even though my scanning pattern is not 100% identical for each app, I made sure I covered all the surfaces of the room in line with our how to scan recommendations. You can find that video along with other videos about Apple LiDAR on our YouTube channel. Please like, comment and subscribe for more. We can produce professional grade CAD 3D files based on any of these iOS apps or meshes or point clouds generated by other means. This video is not sponsored and we are not affiliated with any apps or any scanning manufacturer. Contact us today to learn more about our products and our services. For comparison, I did a fourth scan using Polycam. I moved slightly slower and spent about 1 minute and 15 seconds completing it to see if that would make any difference in the scan measurement accuracy. The on-device processing time is more or less the same for each of the four apps in this example. It's usually less than one minute on a space like this on the fastest setting. And this is how a processed scan from Polycam looks like on the iPad. There are some variations from app to app, but most of them have features like automatic floor plan generation or a total measurement summary function, as you can see here from Polycam. These in-app features sometimes works great and at other times not so great. So in this example, the total length of the room is not displayed. However, all the apps have this point-to-point -point measurement function which you can use to check your scan accuracy. And as you can see here, it's very accurate when compared with the laser measurer. To explore the scans further, I imported them to Blender, which is a free and open source CAD software that works both for Mac and PC. I left out the Metascan version since it was captured at another time, but the measurement accuracy was the same there as it is for the other three apps. The four scans from Scaniverse, 3D Scanner app and Polycam x2 all line up very nicely when I bring them together here in Blender. The area with mirrors created some issues with one of the scans. The wall with the small window was duplicated, so make sure that you check for issues like this in areas with mirrors. The measurement accuracy here is off by over 10% or over 50 centimeters on a 5 meter length. Our in-house team of architectural 3D modelers can adjust the measurements in the final delivery based on your input. This allows you to use the fastest capturing method and just with some minor checking on your side you still get a delivery with the accuracy level needed for your project. Here is an example of 2D and 3D drawings based on LiDAR scans that was captured by one of our customers in Sweden and produced by us at LiDAR 3D.